Hi folks, in this video we're diving into animation layers in override mode. This feature allows us to easily modify existing animations and poses without affecting the original data, giving us full control and flexibility. Today I'll walk you through how to use this tool to make seamless adjustments to your character animations. Let's get started. Alright guys, as you can see we are in the sequencer with our robot in it with a simple idle animation. but I want to change the first pose of this animation. So what I'm going to do is to right click on the skeletal mesh and bake this animation to the control rig. Okay, as you can see, all the keyframes has been baked on the control rig. And let's expand the control rig. And I'm going to select all the controls. And the next step is to bring the layers tab. And while all the controls are selected, I will create a new layer and let's name it as pose two. Now with that done, all the controls that we have selected are now on this layer, but as you can see, it's on additive mode. So what I'm going to do is to change it and set it on override. And by doing that, as you can see, we can't see the previous animations data because we're on override mode on the second layer. Now on my second layer, which is set to override mode, I will start by making adjustments to the head control. First, I will change the pose at the beginning and setting a new keyframe and will do the same at the end pose. So let's scroll to the end of the playhead and again make some adjustments on the head pose and setting another keyframe. Then I will set the weight of this layer to one at the start. So the new pose fully overrides the existing animation. And after a few frames, I will gradually set the weight back to zero, blending the new pose seamlessly with the original animation. And we'll repeat this process for the ending frames to smoothly transition into the final pose, creating a natural and polished results. Now, using animation layers in override mode offers several advantages compared to other methods of making adjustments. First, it allows you to work non-destructively, meaning the original animation remains intact while you apply modifications on top of it. Second, by using weights to control the influence of the override layer, you can create smooth transitions between the new adjustments and the original animation. And lastly, this method is highly efficient as you can focus on specific aspects of the animation, such as the head movements in this case, without having to reanimate the entire sequence or work on a new control rig from scratch. And that's it for this tutorial. Animation layers in override mode make fine tuning animations quick, efficient, and non-destructive. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.